hello good evening youtube it's fucking been a while since i've done a well i did a live pickup last time but this is very impromptu and i bet you're all thinking what the fuck is this about well of course for me with pickups there's always a bit of a story behind it so yesterday um i had an early day at work finished about half two three o'clock ish um missed it had the day off Liam, the fucker, I, he doesn't watch, so I'll talk about the bastard. I was meant to fix my missus' car yesterday, and she'd had the day off work to do it. She doesn't know about it, so if he watches this, he's finding out wanker. Well, he didn't fix it, so my missus was at home, which is really unusual for when I come back from work. And a friend had messaged her saying, would Dana be interested in said item? Now, I'm not going to show you this item until the end, so there's no spoilers, right? What's basically happened is, is one of my missus' mates, um, her dad passed away six months ago, and now they're clearing the house of all their stuff that was in the loft. So, um, basically, they sent me a picture of this one item, and I was like, yeah, what else you got? And they just said, come up and have a look. So, as I've turned up to this house, it's a big, it is a big um, old house, really, Um down a little one-way street so i've pulled up and i'm just gonna share the picture of what i was up to last night it shows that um you know i've reached a new low in my collecting because as i pulled up on the drive there was um obviously I, there was a skip and there was stuff in the skip so uh i, I was having a rummage in the skip hence why it's down of the dump now if i can just get rid of that one there should be another picture which once i get fucking around to what i'm doing this one's even better because it's got a bit of my ass crack in it there you can see my ass crack and as you can see there's various shit in the skip so basically i've rummaged through a skip for 90 percent of these pickups some items were not in the skip they're in the house which i bought which are some of the more nicer items should i say a lot of them are board games but if any of you know like obviously i've started selling on ebay let me just close a few of these windows because my fans go in you can probably hear it board games sell really well on ebay so i'll go through mainly the board games first there are then some toys which i'll do right towards the end and then there's a game system that i'll do right at the end so we'll go in box number all of these are nine most of them are complete the ones that aren't complete are 90 percent complete and they're that old i can sell them for parts anyway so basically we've got three bin bags and some loose stuff i paid 100 quid for all this which i probably could have got it for like 50 quid but my method in my madness was is they're still clearing the house so if i give them a fair price they're going to ring and offer me some more so we'll start off man. game of headaches i mean this screams 70s to me some of them had stickers on where obviously the mom had tried to sell them at a boot sale before for like 25p probably back in the 90s or the 80s um so if anyone knows about any i mean this is 1968 this game anyone knows anything about any of the games that i don't know about information is massively helpful to me so there's the first one there's a lot of board games if you don't like board games tough shit um classic vintage book room. oh by the way we're in my front room because there's that much shit i can't get in my games room so you know uh, that's why we're in my living room i'm doing it now because uh, mrs lads at football training and mrs at work told me not so uh, another classic here operation these were all really really covered in uh, dust from the uh, the loft but, I mean, as you can see, that's cleaned up really well. There is a couple of pieces missing. Let me see if I can open it off. A right, bit of tape on it. But you know what? If I could get, like, the original parts out there, which obviously I can, I can just part them out. If you pull out Build a Better Burger or Bewitch, hello, Retro Kit. No, I haven't got either of them. But there is some goodies in here, man, real goodies. I'm, I'm trying to leave them till last. Camera's being a fucking dick. Twister, the original Twister. What year is this? 
some of them have the date on the front some do nah you know as i say the ones that are complete are the ones that i wanted to complete and i'm going to leave them towards the end this looks an interesting game actually um it's called electronic interceptor and the way it's designed if you can see here there's like a uh, little i don't want to get out all the fucking bits for it there's little ships there and then you've got a red ship that flies it reminds me very much of like a, a zaxxon layout um works they're, the good thing is they've not kept any batteries in anything literally anything other than operation and they were radio shack batteries and they hadn't corroded um but that's complete it might be missing one of the little white ships which doesn't really make a difference you can still play it i've not looked all of these up uh, i was gonna do it where i'll go on to ebay and look what these are worth but ball lake and i ain't got the time ball lake and i've not got the time just come back from curry club i've been to weatherspoons with dad last thursday of the month um we started going to curry club at the weatherspoons missus put this in i fuck knows what she put this in one because I had one of these as a kid. I mean, why the fuck did your parents buy you these? Boring his fucking toy. I'm not going to sell this. I might fucking, you know what? I might prick my own finger and look at my own blood because I'm weird as fuck like that. And it's Halloween coming up. I remember my cousin having one of these. I'm sure they fucking crushed an ant in it or something like that. But that literally, a lot of this was in the skip. I was in the fucking skip right. And when I went in the house after, they told me that fucking they found two piss chambers that what you put under the bed when you sleep. Luckily, they were empty, but I was in there in my Reebok fucking pumps, man. This one's nice. I'm not going to show it here. I'm going to show you the next ones. Actually. Oh, this one fucking mechs around. Again, this looks very 70s, 80s, uh, 70s, 60s to me. Called Space Line. It, it's really weird. Like, um, it looks almost like noughts and crosses draft sort of thing but it's vertical all the bits are in there as you can fucking hear because it was sellotaped up any lcd games i actually they got a tomy you know the one i remember was like a shark uh but the one they got was the racy one and he wouldn't sell it me he wanted to keep it random dungeons and dragons book i'm hoping because there's a few items that make me think they might have more mouse traps not coming out boy i've got two mouse traps uh vintage ones in the shed that need to go up for christmas now this next item's quite a nice one quite a nice one my cat's looking at me like i'm about to fuck up your video spirograph now i will show you this one because it is all complete even with the destructions even with the original penstone there none of them work but look man you got i mean who looks after the toys this well where you got all the sp spirals and fucking everything still there 100 percent. if this was mine would be like 70 percent complete but this they've even left some drawing pins in there because anyone who knows you like could draw and pin out to make it for a p pivot so like nice spirograph set not a lot of money in it like 10 and maybe but when you look how much stuff i've got here for what i've paid there's some good money to be made in it so that's the first bin bag down so i've even got a fucking halloween costume in with the stuff um let's have a look what's in that box we'll get to this box next so i think that bag up there is the main one uh my missus recognized this game i had no clue uh it's called quizard quizard again looking at the fucking idiots on the side looks late 80s early 90s boys you're saying some games but the game that i'm going to pull out towards the end you're going to be like fuck because i wanted it as a kid this one it fucking fell apart this is 60s off it's on the floor crazy tower battered to foot. i mean this one i've not even bothered cleaning so i'm still trying to check it for parts How many people have even got? I've got 15 people watching this shit. Professional YouTuber, yeah. Fucking sign my fucking patronise or whatever it's called. This one is fucking badass. I've had a quick go of this. 
it's like air hockey. I'm gonna get it out and fucking get this one out. Fuck it. Because we need to see the force or hear the force, but you probably won't be able to see it there. Right, so we put this I mean that's fucking that's lead. Lead fucking spinning top right. You got your fucking hand handle here. Yeah. Listen to fucking that. And then it shoots great like fuck. I mean look at that. Fucking health and safety. We'd have a fucking field day. Here we go. That I knew Dave remember it. It's like Dave's about fucking hundred and three and he probably had this in his mid forties. But this is fucking badass. Again, don't think there's a you know, your average board game probably goes about fifteen to twenty quid, your vintage board game. So I've got enough here to make my money back anyway. Let's have a look. What else we got? Oh, we'll show these. We'll show these. Now I'll pick this out. This this was in the skip. It's grandstand converter. So you've got the fucking knockiest of knockoff fucking transformer by a decent brand of the time. Uh, grandstand, but again, it's in good condition. Decent money in it. Decent money. Not fucking brilliant, but decent money. So, as you know, the knockoff transformers sometimes go more than the actual transformers. Again, this one, this one very much reminds me of a Japanese line of the same era. So again, it's grandstand converters, but this is called Alphatron. Now, I thought there was a part missing, but I've looked up on eBay, and that fucking tray there is just for nothing. Yeah, it's for nothing, because I put it together last night, you know. Turn up the right way. All clicks together, bit of metal, stickers are all in great condition. Probably looking 30, 40 quid for this one. Need some, I'll tell you what, here we go, we'll go on a little side story. They got a complaint yet, but I didn't fucking want it, because when I used to go to my cousin's house as a kid, they only had two fucking games. One was Kaplunk, which fucking it took ages to set up and you'd play it for 10 minutes and put it fucking away. And plus the one they had was all fucking everywhere in the skip. There was no way I was looking. I was keen, but I wasn't that keen sort of thing. And the other one was that fucking model wheel, which they had, but the little girl who lived there would not let me fucking have it. I was going to kick her. I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to kick her. I wasn't going to kick her. Right, I'm motoring, I'm motoring through all this shit. I was hoping Stu was going to be here. We'll probably watch it back later because obviously Stu and uh, Rob and that got the picture of me in the skip. Now this one, where the fuck is it? Zybot 6. And I know what you're all thinking. Shittest of shit knockoff Transformers, right? £100, one of them sold for on eBay. Mine's missing a couple of bits, you know, it, it's been played with, but there's still some that haven't are in nice condition. You know what? If I get 40 quid for it, I'm laughing, you know, I'm laughing. Because we've not even got to the good stuff yet. Not even got to the good stuff. Um, this one's got a couple of bits missing, but it, it's nice, it's nice. Uh, Soundwave Transformers Design Centre. He's missing, unfortunately, a bottom part of his arm. And I think that's it. Let's get him out, because I keep putting him together, because, you know, I'm a fucking man, Charles. Here we go, man. Look at this fucking badassery. we got some stencils. Here we go. Prowl. Soundwave. Optimus Prime. Not that you could fucking see that then. It's got like some little fucking notepad there. Sound Waves head is a ruler. So uh, I think there's some of it. There's like some stencil things and other things in there. But again, probably sell it out for parts. I mean, it's still again, it's still got the pen and the fucking compass inside. I also look at 
like a Hot Wheels knockoff. Was a Hot Wheels. See, I don't know nothing about toy cars really. It's probably something I should look into. I mean, ninety percent of this stuff's going on eBay. Ninety percent of it. In fact, fucking all of it. It's all going on eBay. So I'm a fucking dirty ratty. eBay reseller. Seventeen people. Hello. Right. We motored through. Now we get into some of the really good stuff there. We'll start off with some of the naff stuff. Who remembers this? Needs a clean. Fisher Price, fucking record players. Uh, you got Prodigy, Smack My Bitch Up. Um, Smokey, who the fuck is Alice? And Jack and Jill and Humpty Dumpty. I imagine they're just fucking nursery rhymes, if I'm quite honest. Again, he was in the skip. Well, that's skip. Now, the next thing is a thing of terror. Absolute fucking terror. Look at this fucking thing. Fisher Price. Where's the button? Look at it, man. It's a fucking thing of nightmares. Absolute thing of nightmares. You know, fucking jump around, jack in a fucking box. Haunting. Look at the look at the fucker's eyes. That's I'm gonna fucking stab you when I'm asleep, look that is. <laughs> fucking get back in there, dickhead. Right, what else we got? Ooh. Well we'll start with this one it's the most beat up. Challenge of the go bots. This, I think this might be missing it's a cardboard part, unfortunately. I didn't really look at that well. But again, I can bang these little parts on fucking eBay and people will buy them. You know, it's got fucking spin the wheel, make the deal. If I get on a, what number is it not going to land on? If I land on a one, I'll buy a 360 game. Uh, unfortunately not. No 360 games again this week. Ray, how is it going, mate? I've not seen you at the booters, but I've not been to the booters, so that's fucking my fault. Hold on, because I need to talk to my cat. Billy, if you fucking jump on this table, you'll have no eyes. You've only got fucking one. So don't jump on the table. Do you understand? Next one. Now, this is my level of sadness. I did this jigsaw last night. The real Ghostbusters. It's complete. Who owns jigsaws that are complete from the 1980s? 1988 this is boxes seen better days do a whole the uh, cojones deloro and fucking iron it are you all bored yet hands up if you're bored because we're not going to the really good stuff yet there's one more game and then we're going to be on pure good stuff then so this is the last non-excellent Batman, the game. Now, no doubt, this probably cost someone's parents 30, 40 quid back in fucking the late 80s. And just look at the level of shitness of that. Right, so we got that. Again, a pen. Every fucking game's got a pen. In. Destructions, the cards, and all pieces. Official Batman. Look, if. If, if that isn't out of fucking Cluedo, I don't know what it is. It's not even a fucking Batman figure. I'll probably get 20 quid for it. I'll get 20 quid for it. Right. We're on to all good stuff now. This this is the good stuff. We'll start with this one because it's the one I've not heard of. Horror House. We're gonna have a we're gonna have a good look at this one, right? Because it's Halloween coming up. Here we go. Got all the fucking. I'll put them in these baggies because you know what my OCDs like. All the player cards. Knights of the Old Bastards or whatever I'm called. Some I don't know another one. Spin the wheel, make the deal. There we go that right but this is the actual board for the game 
Oh, it's got the instructions. I don't think you have the instructions. Last one of the one of these went for 140 quid complete. Just so you think they've been picking up shit. 140 pound off. So I am going to show you here, right? I'm not going to show you more, but if we can have a slow look, I'll read some of the names of the monsters. Some you might have heard of, right? Well, we got the Blob. Everyone's heard of the Blob. You got Dracula, Grim Reaper, Wolfman, Frankenstein. Then you've got some of the more unknown ones, such as Umbrella Monster, Long Neck Monster, Lantern Monster. What else we got? Now, if this isn't fucking copyright infringement, Man Eating Tomato, someone in the fucking B-movie world is fucking rolling in their grave there. The Doll of Terror. Mud Turtle. I mean, there's some I've heard of, but yeah. £140, the last one of these complete sold for on eBay. To me, to, I'll tell you, it was in the skip and I saw this. I thought, that looks, that shit, it's going to be good. Because I imagine not many people who had this game kept it. But again, this was in a skip, just lying in the skip. Definitely a bowl hole. Now, this is a bolo for me because I've been trying to pick one of these up at the booters complete for ages. Ghost Castle. You're looking 60, 70 pound complete for this game. And it is complete. So I put it all together last night. Who remembers the characters and you, you, you put the scared head on her. So, you know, in, in two games there, you got the best part of 200 quid. I've already doubled my money paid a hundred pound for the whole lot and that i believe is all the board games so that's it i'm not going to bother showing you the toys and that now thanks all for watching i'll do another part i'm just kidding we're going to go into the toys i'll show you some of the loose ones first it will give away some of the other pickups oh don't fucking knock them over Buy of a life, uh, buy of, be on the lookout, be on the lookout. So we've got some GoBots. We've got a helicopter. I'm not fucking transforming them. No, I'm not doing it. So we've got a helicopter on. US Air Force. These, you can always tell GoBots, right, because they're shit, but they've got bits of metal in them. But the, uh, the faces have uh, very limited like features. And um, a tank. Yeah, BOL is like in the reselling and the game. Not game hunting. It's be on the lookout is what it stands for. So I just had a WhatsApp message there off the uh, Retro Game Addict. Thanks for not watching, mate. You won't care. Um, you know what? I'm not going to spoil the last bit. I'm going I'm to show you a continuation of this. Let me just move some stuff. Now, this was the original item. When said person messaged me, well, messaged my missus, said, would Dana be interested in this? It's a transformer. It's I've fucking done that in all because I'm a knobhead. It was really loose, and I was putting it away. I'll fucking rip that off. But... Look at the condition of uh, Megaplex. Again, you're probably looking 60, 70 quid to sell him complete. I was going to get him out. I'm fucking not going to. Again, a couple of bits missing. Worst, I mean, the figure on its own, you're looking 40 quid on eBay, so 60 quid here with the box that's fucked. Which is now more fucked since it's become into more possession. Um, but yeah, there's that. I had that. They fucking had everything. Last of the toys now. I'm going to bring this one in. So, oh, just fucking sporty. Look at that. Boxed Scout Walker. But it also got 
some of the little Star Wars uh, mini vehicles. In fact, if anyone knows the name of these mini vehicles, that'd be a massive help to me. This one is notorious for being fucked, but the springs are really tight on that. So, I mean, look at this. This isn't yellowed or faded in any way. The top's all still there. It's got the driver. You know, again, complete works. Got the walk function that still works. And there was some other loose figures. Now, nothing spectacular. We've got a, a Princess Leia there. But this guy, I can't think of his fucking name. Let's call him fucking Squid Face. That's probably his name. But he's got his jacket. Now, anyone who collects Star Wars, if he's still here, Gasset, I saw Gasset earlier. Can you tell me there's two different variants? Now, I'm guessing one's the original Star Wars line and one's Return of the Jedi. But there's slight variants in them uh, coats. And they don't normally have the coats. So, 100 quid. Remember, everything, 100 quid. Pay for that. Mini rigs, that's the name of them. Yes, Ross. Now, of course, the main thing I was looking for when I was in this skip was some games, and I found some. Amstrad and Spectrum double tapes. So you got the 10 Gen Trilogy. Big Mike has a nightmare with these covers for some reason. Look at this. They're all in there. Clax, Escape from the fucking killer robot wankers. Cyberball. But look at this man the manuals i've never seen it in this complete of a state these i'll add you to a face they know sound steve that will be massively appreciates of i have got a fair bit of star wars stuff to get rid of as well they were saying the brother and sister were there were saying their mom and dad must have bought them stuff and and not let them play with it because it was too nice for them to play with this is one I've not seen before, the Loops Collection. So you've got Emlyn Hughes Arcade Quiz, you know, because Emlyn Hughes was known for his arc arcade stuff, and Helter Skelter. Again, sets are in there, lovely condition, instructions. Again, it's both the Amstrad and the Spectrum. Pipe Mania. Again, these were covered in dust. Again, this one's even been rewound. Alan, he boys, fucking degenerative disc games. And again, this is another one I thought was a nice one. Um, no Limit, Capcom USA, and uh, Strider 2, UN Squadron. So right, my laptop's going off and misses messaging me because she doesn't know I'm making a video. Again, tapes, beautiful condition. Instructions complete. So that was all the games I found. And when I went in the house, I said found some spectrum games in the uh, skip. You got spectrum. He's like, yeah. No power supply, not tested, quite dirty, got some serious damage there, but I've got one that's faulty, so I'm thinking if I can at least Frankenstein between the two, because I think the other one's got a nicer shell, swap it out, and we've got a working plus two. So... For those of you who join the video late, we will go back to the share. Oh, we won't because I can't be asked to fucking put it on. All this stuff came from out of a skip. So the channel has reached a new low. We're literally going through other people's shit to find stuff to put on YouTube. On a serious note, I've got a proper pickups video of stuff that I've actually added to my own collection, which I'm going to record tomorrow. And it'll go up live on Halloween. So I'd like you all to watch it. Hope you've all enjoyed this little bit of a pickups video. Something different. Something interesting. 
stuff that you find i think i've got another one down to be fair i think i've already got a shell uh, so thanks for watching i hope you've enjoyed looking at all this non-fucking modern gaming shit i know you're all into your modern games now but watch on saturday uh there's there's some uh, nice retro stuff in my latest pickups video and there might be some stuff that's available for trade that i've been given so um thanks for watching subscribe like lick my ass whatever thanks for watching take it easy watch my video saturday halloween special Good night.